Just wanted to show everyone a quick video of uh, anyone who's interested. My dad's quite innovative way of cleaning a petrol tank that's rusty inside. So, uh, what's uh, what's the motor that you use, Dad? Well, it's a standard stair lift motor. Yeah. Which is geared down. Uh, so that the main shaft turns quite slowly. So this arm here turns round in this direction. The inner one turns round in this direction. And the plate that the tank is uh, mounted to turns round in this right direction. So it's like a three axis machine. And what's the advantage of, of having it of, on three axes? Why did you do that? The first one I tried, it just cleaned two sides of the tank. So I made a two axis machine which cleaned virtually every area inside the tank but not quite all three, uh, not quite all areas. So this three axis one cleans every bit of the tank without you having to reposition it. And how does it clean the tank? Uh, the screw, uh, self tapping screws inside the tank and I usually put some paraffin as well. And that just, and that just like a cement that, mixer that just, just cleans all, all the rust all the rust. And then you wash it out with the petrol or thinners afterwards and it leave the, leaves the tank dead clean so that you can treat it with uh, one of these ethanol proof uh, tank treatments. Right, okay, so is, is it specifically for old tanks that have... It'll do any petrol tank at all as long as it'll fit within these uh, confines. Right, go on blaze it up, let's I'll have a look. Switch it on. Move dogs. Move dogs, come on. It's not just the Harley Davidson tank, by the way. <laughs> that was a mistake, actually. Yeah, you should have had a British tank on. <laughs> That was just handy at the time. <laughs> and does it do any damage to the tank cleaning them inside like this? Does it do any damage at all? I just found there was one tiny area that wasn't getting cleaned on the lee, on the lee side of the filler cart. But if you reverse it, it even gets that bit. Two hours of cleaning tank. It's like a piece of kit, hey? Yeah. This <laughs> gearbox here is off a mobility scooter. Well, that's off a mobility scooter, the gearbox. These gears here are off a 20 horsepower Chrysler outboard. <laughs> yeah, you see the opinion gear there? And my son says Chryslers are no good for anything. Well, <laughs> That's a superb thing. So, you're, you're obviously an engineer, and you made the uh, you got the the brackets welded and so on. Yeah, I made all the structural parts, and I yeah. got to a welder to weld them up because it's aluminium. I wanted it light, uh, and it's a tricky job. Right. The, uh, Do you think it's the sort of thing that someone else that would be machine savvy would be able to make? Definitely. Is it something that you'd be willing to make for anybody else? No, because it took too many hours to make. Give us an idea of how long it took you to make. No idea. Hundreds, hundreds of hours. <laughs> so, far too many to be profitable. Do you want to answer, answer a question? Why are you not a millionaire, Dad? Because <laughs> <laughs> you do stuff like this, which is a little bit crazy. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, there you go. Thank you. Maybe it will help other people, that. Yeah.